What's up, Nick fans? All right, I am Victor Hatchiva from Nick fans Brazil channel. Today, I have a great honor, guys. A great honor. Né? This channel receive Joey from Big Nick Energy. I love your project, bro. I love. So welcome. Welcome to the Nick Fans Brazil channel, bro. Victor, thank you so much for having me on. We've been following you basically since the beginning as well. So the feeling, the feeling of love and admiration is mutual for sure. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you, bro. Thank you. Uh, I love you. Uh, I, I talk né, with you in, back, in backstage. And uh, I like your project. Uh, so many funny uh, comments. Uh, I like so much. Bo, so, um, first question. Né? No, not a question. No, no, not a question. But I am curious. Né? People in Brazil uh, won't né, uh, know more about you. Né? Uh, can uh, do you can uh, introduce yourself for Brazilians? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so I'm Joe Yoke. I'm the host of the Big Nick Energy podcast. So Big Nick Energy started the two other guys I do it with, uh, Angelo and Vin. They started a company called Bring It to New York, and it, they were just selling T-shirts and merchandise about like 11 years ago. Now I think it was 2011 or 2012. And they did that for a few years. Uh, Twitter was pretty new. We didn't really use much of that or anything yet. And then in 2016 or 2017, somewhere around there, Ange changed the name to Big Nick Energy after, obviously, BDE. I don't want to say what BDE means, if we all know. Uh, <laughs> so he stole BDE and turned it into BKE. And then, um, the so COVID happened in 2020, like the quarantine, everything shutting down. And from there, they got me to join them while I was unemployed and not doing anything at home, just to like start making reels and making content and stuff. And uh, so we started a podcast in February of 2021. So our podcast and your podcast right. is like almost the same exact age. And uh, yes. <laughs> our Twitter and Instagram following like since 2020 to now has gone up to like 10,000 each. It's been uh it's been an interesting ride. It's been cool. Uh, that's cool, bro. <laughs> At the same time. Yeah. March and February. Same same year, bro. Oh, that's great, so bro. So funny. <laughs> <laughs> and uh I am curious um how start né, your passion with the Knicks, with basketball? How start? So my passion Uh, for me, basketball started at a very young age. I actually started playing baseball. Like I was a baseball fan growing up. I played baseball when I was like six, seven, eight uh -huh. years old, all the way till I was like 16. And I went to my first Mets game for the New York Mets when I was six. It was uh, or five. It was April of 97. And then, so I started watching all sports. Like I just loved baseball. I started watching sports center. And then I started uh -huh. watching like, All Sports Center was showing that June was just Michael Jordan against the Jazz. It was it was the Bulls' fifth title. And I watched a little before then, and the Knicks were in the playoffs at the time. And they had a player, a no-name backup point guard named Chris Childs. I don't know if you remember, remember. Chris Childs. He I was remember. literally the backup for Charlie Ward or Mark Jack, whoever was playing back then. He played like 12 minutes a game, averaged five points, three assists. And my thought process as a six-year-old was, his last name is Childs. <laughs> I'm a child, and he plays <laughs> for New York. I'm going to cheer for this guy. And then I became a Nick fan at five years old because they had a guy named Childs. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, bro. Yeah, so That's stupid. great. <laughs> <laughs> I remember Chris Childs, bro. I remember. Dude, he I barely played. Fan. He barely played. <laughs> <laughs> I am a Nick fan since 92, 92. Oh, nice. Patrick Ewing, John Starks, Mega Drive, bro. Mega Drive, yeah. Sega, 
Sega, videogame. Yeah. I I start uh, become a Nick, né? Because Patrick Ewing and, and videogame, Mega Drive, <laughs> Blazers versus Blazers versus Bulls, né? Yep. My my cousin, uh, choice Chicago Bulls in Brazil. People loves the Bulls, né? Oh, and, Michael uh, Jordan. For, uh, that makes sense everywhere. Né? <laughs> I, I, I almost become Bulls fans, a little, but uh, when I, I start uh, playing uh, with the Knicks and video game, bro, I remember Patrick Ewing and the monster in the garden. Yeah. Bro, I in love. I in love His with the Knicks. His muscles were like this big. He's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, I as, uh, later, I become Nick fan. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Here we are. You know, man. <laughs> you yeah. know, in this century, it's yeah. complicated, but it's uh, usually sad. Usually full of sadness. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, you know, uh, Nick fan. Uh, it's a passion. Uh, I can't explain né, this passion. Né? Uh, you are a Nick fan. You understand me, yes, uh, because it's a, a crazy love, crazy yes. love with this team. And uh, I want to talk with you, né, about New York Knicks in this season, bro. Uh, I make it, né, so many interviews, né, before the season. Uh, I, I remember me, né? me uh, expectations of oh, slow expectations yeah, with this team and the Knicks. Oh, unbelievable, unbelievable. Way better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> Knicks back, Knicks back, baby. Yeah. Knicks back, baby. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I am curious about your opinion. Eh? What's your opinion uh, about né, the current Knicks team? So I, like yourself, did not think they were going to be this good. I also have the podcast, obviously. I projected them to go like 38 and 44. And I thought they would be like around the ninth or the 10th seed. Like Jalen Brunson would make them a little bit better, but we still couldn't really see Randall and RJ meshing. Uh, we had Tom Thibodeau is known to like not be the most fan friendly of coaches like not everyone likes him or what he does. And it just seems like we got a cool point guard and then nothing else. And it already seemed like Emmanuel quickly was most of the way of being a good enough point guard anyway. Why why are we going to what we thought overpay for Jalen Brunson for us yes. to win like two or three more games? And then Jalen Brunson is phenomenal. We were all so wrong. Like Jalen Brunson is leaps and bounds better than what we all thought and julius Randle is so much happier this year than last year i don't know if brunson's like his psychiatrist or something whatever's happening there it's just it's so good it's so much better than i thought <laughs> exactly go new york go go new york go new york go new york go go new york go go new york go bro i i really i don't know but uh this team is so unbelievable and uh i i want more seven victories seven more seven more i believe and you believe in this i or more or or more Victory. I actually, so whether I think they can go at least six and six and at best eight and four, but, um, I know you actually sent me the, the question itinerary, but I'll just, I'll skip to number eight right now, which is like where they're going to go. And then we can talk about the players afterwards. Yes. Uh, yes. so whether they get the fifth or the sixth seed, like, I don't think they're falling below Miami. I don't think they're going to fall to seventh. They're currently three and a half games up on Miami, and if they win one of the next two against them, they own the tiebreaker. So I don't think Miami's going to catch them. And then them and Brooklyn have almost the same exact record. They're just Brooklyn. ahead on percentage. Yeah, Brook, boo, <laughs> boo. Where yeah. Brooklyn at? Not here. <laughs> but um, um, so so like Phil. So I worry about matchups. I think we all do once you make the playoffs. If Philadelphia uh -huh. stays in the three seed. 
and mm-hmm. Boston stays in the two seed. I would rather yes. pretend that we could beat Philadelphia and Boston in the second round versus mm-hmm. if we stay in the four or five and we play Cleveland in the first round, who I do think is worse than Philadelphia. Like, I think we would have a better chance to beat the Cavaliers than the 76ers, but then we would play the Bucks. And I don't think we can beat the Bucks at all. Like, I think the Bucks are going to win the title this year. Bro, but uh, uh, I imagine it, it's perfect in Knicks versus Cavaliers. Yes. Because, bro, remember <laughs> off season. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you imagine it. Uh, Jalen Brunson versus Donovan Mitchell. And Knicks wins yes. with the Cavaliers. Brunson wins. Uh, Spider, bro, it's a script for a movie. It's a storyline. Literally, it's written down. It's written in the stars. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Jalen Brunson, bro, what's your opinion né, about this guy? The brain, né? the brain of this team, bro. Jalen Brunson is absolutely amazing. Like I was, like we were saying before, I can't believe he's this good. Like. Cannot fathomably believe that he his shooting percentage went up with more usage. His three-point percentage went up to 40% when he was at 37 before on less shots, on less and easier shots. Like, he was playing off a of Luka, which means you have less people guarding you. Now he has the best perimeter defender on him. He has all of the attention of the backcourt of the opposing team. And he just he's risen to the occasion so much. He is... Victor, I don't know if you're religious. Jalen Brunson Uh, is a godsend. He's a (laughs) godsend to the Knicks in New York. It is unbelievable what we had to wait for 20 years to get this. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I I remember I I talked with Alan Hunt, and Alan Hunt in this channel uh, told for me uh, the last PG uh, in Knicks all-star um in Stefan Marbury. No, before, before um ai. Mark Jackson. Marbury Mark never Jackson. made one? What? Mark Jackson, PG, PG, Mark yeah. Jackson. Oh uh, my god. Alan, Alan Hermation in this channel, bro. Wow. Bro, so so long time. And uh I like yeah. so much this team, but uh, I am Ori and uh, I have a question. Uh in your opinion, uh Exist um, uh, Brunson dependence in your opinion or not? So I'm not too worried about it. Not yet, anyway. Maybe when we get to the playoffs, I'll worry about it. But the Knicks are five and four without Jalen Brunson this year. The only main, mm-hmm. the only main player on their like current rotation that hasn't missed a game is Julius Randle, who I'm pretty sure is just made out of tiger's blood and never misses a game. But uh. <laughs> So the Knicks are five and four without Brunson. They're five and two without RJ Barrett, and they're twelve and ten without a, without Mitchell Robinson, who are the three guys out of their nine man rotation that have missed the most time. And all three of those guys, all, they have a above five hundred record without all three, including Jalen Brunson. So therefore, at least for the regular season, I don't worry about it. We literally just beat the Celtics like a week ago without him, and be, and that's because while Jalen Brunson is an All Star or should have been an all-star, mm. and is that good? Emmanuel quickly is that great of a backup and that great six of man. a six-man, exactly, six-manual. He's that great of a six-man that he should be a starter on most teams. So while Brunson is better than quickly overall and definitely leads our team, we don't fall off that much without him. The war Where I would worry is going to be if we were without him in the playoffs, for example, mm. which it seems like he'll be back within the next week. But if we were without Brunson in the playoffs and we didn't have his leadership and then we were watching Julius Randle spin into triple teams and get mad, then I would be worried. Uh, I like this team, Joy, because uh, in other seasons, nah, I had a fear nah, uh, fear nah, uh, with so, so many teams. In this season, I don't, I don't have fear, afraid. Nah. Uh, and Agreed. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. I believe Same. in the in this team, bro. Uh, it's a, a stronger team. The Brunson is the brain. Nah? Now, uh, Josh Hart 
Josh Hart. Yeah. <laughs> né? It's a... Um, uh, this guy, uh, Energy, like your name, Big Nick Energy. Josh Hart has a heart a and lot. energy. A lot energy, né? So, uh, I won't talk with you before. Uh, logic, uh, I won't talk with you about Josh Hart. But yeah. before, I, I won't talk with you about Emmanuel Kikley. Uh, in your opinion, uh, uh, these skills né, uh, from Emmanuel Kikley, what's your opinion about this? Uh, what, what's your expectations with this player in Knicks? Uh, in the future, in the season, né? What are your, your, your talks about Emmanuel Kikli? So uh, I love Emmanuel quickly. I just, he's my favorite player on the current team. I, really? That's why, yes, I really? love, I love <laughs> IQ. I love his tenacity on defense. I like that he's a little aggressive and jumps passing lanes and kind of mm -hmm. risks it sometimes. He, he came out of college as the 25th pick and was projected to be maybe a scorer off the bench. And he mm -hmm. didn't have defensive prowess. He, they were worried about him ever. Like, would he ever be able to really crack a good team's rotation? And he's six, three with like a six, nine wingspan. And if you use mm -hmm. your tools, right. And you just train the right way and you and Tibbs for whatever good or bad he has, he is known to instill defense within their, his guard specifically, and then make a defensive center, be an anchor. IQ's just been able to learn the same system for three years now. And because okay. of that, and him just being behind, <laughs> being the pack up, exactly, and just being the backup and watching these guys like get better in front of him, watching Jalen Brunson be able to play in front of him and learn some tricks of his, like watching Emmanuel quickly drive and now stop in the lane is very Jalen Brunson-esque. Like Brunson is the best at like uh, bringing defenders to him in the paint stopping on a dime and finding his shot or passing out, usually honestly finding his shot. And we're seeing Emmanuel quickly do the same thing, just being able to watch Jalen Brunson learn from him and incorporate it on his own. And this dude mm -hmm. literally just had 38 points, like nine assists and seven rebounds without Jalen Brunson playing against one of the best teams in the league in the Celtics. And yes. he's helped the team be five and four without Jalen Brunson. It's just, like what people thought Emmanuel quickly was going to be and what he's end up being is phenomenal. I hope he's on the Knicks for his whole career. Honestly, I think whether they have to pay him 20 mil, 25 mil at some point, I hope Emmanuel quickly is always on this team and whether he is or isn't, I will always root for Emmanuel quickly. Bro. I won't uh, talk with you now about uh, this guy in, in our channel. People joke with me in this season because I I defend so much. I defend so much, in, but in the season it's complicated, bro. Because uh, I I bring na né, in the past so many guests uh, and uh, I ask né, for for the guests uh, about this guy. Uh, do you believe will be our oh, star? Né? <laughs> but now it's complicated. Uh, but really, I still like like music, né? I still believe, I still believe in RJ Barrett. Complicated because RJ yeah. Barrett needs né, help me too about né, this guy. Inconsistence. Né? Yeah. Uh, so I want your opinion. What's your opinion about? RJ Barrett. So I know you said at some point, will he make an all-star team? And that's such a, a loaded question to think about for a player to make one all-star team. Generally athletes aren't at their peak, uh, prime ability until they're between 28 and 31 years old. I think RJ Barrett will definitely make one all-star team between 28 and 31 years old, at least one. The thing is that he's also six years away from being 28 years old. So it's like mm -hmm. where the team is now and what they expect of him and what he should be honestly looking to do is what he's been doing more in the past couple of games. Like shoot the three less. You're clearly ice cold from deep. Stop, stop forcing it. Even if you're open drive, he's a strong dude. He's really strong for his age and size. He will push someone out of the way 
that does not look like they should move when he's driving. And as long as he adds pump fakes and or like up steps and stuff like that, like actually brings the ball into his body and then adds a mm-hmm. hezzy and then actually goes up with it, he gets blocked all the time by guys bigger and more athletic than him. But we again, we watch Jalen Brunson not get blocks from anybody. And he has no athleticism. He doesn't know athleticism, but he's way athlete as way less athletic and has way less height than RJ and less strength, which it's like. I just want RJ to do what Brunson does inside the paint. And then if you work on your shot and get better over the years and like you're at like 31% from three now and you've shot like less than 20% in the past eight games, which is bad, but you're shooting over, you're shooting like over 58 to 60% from two in the past eight games because your driving is so much better and you even have a little mid range game going like. Just use what's working for you and then worry about the other stuff later. You can always shoot yourself into a rhythm if you get enough wide open shots. And by being as bad as he's been recently from deep, he's going to get a lot of wide open shots. So for the team right now, I want him to play the way he's playing currently, like getting 15, getting 10 attempts inside, inside the three point line, going to the foul line. And then like when Brunson comes back, do the same thing with slash and kick, drive and kick. You don't always have to take the three. If you can make it inside, which he can, he's really strong. He can get mm-hmm. wherever he wants. Just keep driving it. And that's all I want out of RJ. He doesn't need to be an all-star next year. He can be an all-star five years from now. I need him to be the third best scorer on this team, though. Mm-hmm. No, I, I totally agree with you. I like RJ Beveridge, but I love New York Knicks, bro. I yeah, love exactly. New <laughs> York Knicks. I like RJ, but I prefer the Knicks. Now, I, I think, uh, Joy, uh, if the Knicks uh, got it, uh, another player, uh, all star or uh, great player, and RJ Barrett need nah, in the in the backstage. I I don't I don't see a, a pro, I don't see a problem. Okay, but I I believe RJ Barrett here in Knicks or another team in the future will be our star. But I Knicks need so much, bro. Need so much, nah. Like your opinion, nah. I think the same. Uh, in the moment, I, I prefer uh, Josh Hart starter, uh, for example, yeah. than RJ uh, in 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 uh, in your position. But uh, RJ, <laughs> come to the bench, playing <laughs> like this, bro. I prefer I prefer starter with uh, RJ Barrett because. Uh, our team uh, come uh, to the bench. Now nah, players uh, come uh, come to the bench. Uh, th- this team needs uh, uh, to be a, f- a faster, nah, faster team uh, yeah. with uh, nah, uh, so many players in the in this bench. And so I I forgot my opinion because that nah. it's okay. So RJ, <laughs> yeah, RJ starts. Don't problem, don't problem. But uh, in this game, uh, Josh Hart enter. Uh, I prefer. Uh, so I I won't uh, talk with you about about uh, Josh Hart. Uh, okay. Josh Hart uh, uh, come to the Knicks and the Knicks, bro. Bro, uh, yeah. uh, Josh Hart the face, in my opinion, the face uh, from New York. Uh, New York face. Uh, in Josh Hart, yeah, bro, with the Brooklyn Nets, <laughs> the city, the city, oh, New York Knicks, no Nets, no Nets, never be, never be the Nets, okay, oh, ooh, pra você, Nets fans, sorry, <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion, bro, about Josh Hart? All heart, baby. All he's all <laughs> heart. All heart and soul. He uh Josh Hart does what you want on a basketball court. Like if you were the if you went to play five on five somewhere and you found out you were the absolute worst of the ten people there, 
you should do what Josh Hart does. You should hustle for rebounds. You should try to get every loose ball. You should play tenacious defense. And whether you get burned or not, so be it. At least you tried. And just try to make open shots. If you're open, shoot it no matter what. And when Josh Hart came here the 15 games ago now, he he was shooting like 31, 30% from... He's basically shooting what RJ is shooting now. He was shooting that from three in Portland. And then out of nowhere, he comes to New York, changes scenery. We already know we're getting the best rebounding guard in the league. We already know we're getting like a top 20, top 25 defensive guard in the league. We already know that we're getting a dude that's a great connector, can help move the ball, get four assists a game and only 25 minutes playing. And then he just starts making threes, just, mm-hmm. just drilling threes. And then we win yes. nine, nine in a row because this dude <laughs> is just doing everything possible and everything imaginable. And him being Jalen Brunson's best, like one of his best friends from college is, it's just so cool. Like Villanova is a good program and makes, it made good players. And Jay Wright was a great championship level coach. If you get players from a great college that were there two, three, four years and got the real experience of the college and were able to like groom and mold their game to be worthwhile in the NBA, even if they're not LeBron James or they're not Jason Tatum naturally or anything. He was able to learn to do all the little things to the best of his ability. And for being six foot four, he plays like he's six foot eight. And you can't ask for anything more than that. I love Josh Hart. He's awesome. I want Big Tree, Villanova in Knicks. Michael Bridges. Mikhail Bridges, ah, get yeah. Out. <laughs> get out of the Nets. Come Let to us the save Knicks. you, man. Big Tree, Big Tree, Villanova in Knicks, yeah. bro. Oh, forgot the Nets, bro. Small <laughs> team, bro. Small. No I can fans. hear the Nets. I can hear the Nets. So small, bro. So small. Yeah. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> uh, so uh you talk so much né, about the Knicks in the season. So I I I, I believe you uh believe <laughs> Knicks in playoffs, okay? Yeah. So um uh you believe in Knicks in playoffs. Uh where do you believe the Knicks go in the season, in your opinion? So you just mentioned the Nets. I think the net the Knicks are gonna end up with a better record than the Nets. And you already <laughs> you already mentioned it before. The Knicks and Cavaliers, mm. man. Jalen Brunson and Donovan Mitchell are just running headfirst into each other. And I it's going to this. It would is I it would be a great series. I don't even know. I'd be scared, honestly. I think it goes seven either way. Yeah, I think it's a seven game series. Exactly. They have like great interior with Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. Evan Mobley is gonna be like a top 10 player in the league in the next five years, like like top of the line, phenomenal point power forward, borderline center. Um, and then Darius Garland is absolutely insane. Darius Garland just goes unnoticed to New Yorkers because like everyone mentions RJ Barrett all the time. He's from the same draft and Darius Garland just gets like 20 and eight. And because he plays with Donovan Mitchell, no one outside of Cleveland cares. Like, like Darius Garland is who would be covering Jalen Brunson and vice versa. Donovan Mitchell is going to be chased around by Quentin Grimes, Josh Hart, etc. Like Emmanuel quickly etc between those three guys and i think the the matchup because i randall is better than mobley currently i'm i'm going ahead a lot by like four weeks if we play the cavaliers obviously like i think jared allen is slightly better than mitchell robinson i think julius randall is currently better than evan mobley so the front court basically washes out out and then it comes down to jalen brunson emmanuel quickly josh hart and rj barrett against Donovan Mitchell, Darius Garland, uh, what's the guy's name that starts with an O? I always forget his name. Uh, Jesus Christ. Whole mm, uh, team? Uh, Coro, Isaac Okoro, who's like their defensive stopper, and then um, and then they have like C.D. Osman shooting from shooting from deep as a backup, and they have mm-hmm. uh, Karis, they had Karis Levert. Um, but yeah, so like I like I our Levert. bench. Yeah, Levert, former net, get out of here. But like I like our bench more than their bench. I like our front court and their front court's basically even. And then it literally comes down to whose guards are better. And then mm-hmm. it literally will get to who has a better series, Jalen Brunson or Donovan Mitchell. And that's where we're at. 
No, for me, it's a phenomenal series because uh, <laughs> I, I, I talked né, before. Uh, <laughs> I imagine Jalen Brunson versus Donovan Mitchell, bro. Uh, in NBA, oh, everybody we talk about these games, bro, because it's a stronger games. And I believe Brunson now, it's better in the moment. Yeah. Uh, compare it with uh, Donovan Mitchell. It's a great player, great player. But now I think uh, Jalen Brunson a little better compare it with uh, Donovan Mitchell. Uh, so I, I hope you're I right. Think... I hope so. <laughs> but uh, do, do you think the Knicks has a, a chance, bro, uh, go to the finals? <laughs> because, bro, this team... Do you remember 99? Yeah. Uh, Alan Houston, Patrick Ewing, injury. Latrell Sprewell is one of my this. favorite players of all time. I I love that team. Larry Johnson, bro. Uh, Kurt Thomas, birthday. Marcus Camby, yeah. Oh, happy birthday, Larry Johnson, too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, oh, this channel, in the same day, like That's awesome. Larry Johnson, bro. Oh, that's great. And uh, I remember uh, nobody believes in the Knicks in the in the season '99. Uh, so uh, this team now uh, has a stronger energy, his uh, resilience, uh, and uh, uh, Knicks has a stronger team. Brunson, the brain, yeah, uh, heart, the energy. Uh, Julius Randle, unbelievable in the season, uh, on fire, nah? yep. and uh, I believe this team uh, a little, but I believe I won't believe Joey Knicks back, Knicks back, baby. I believe, and uh, the Knicks has a chance, oh, uh, more people, oh, with to blow this their team. minds, yes. <laughs> with this team bro i believe i am i am so positive positive with the, the knicks with the live and uh i remember in pandemic season uh is the same nobody believes the knicks uh come to the playoffs knicks, yeah <laughs> knicks uh, go to the playoffs in four 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 seed bro yeah and, and now this team don't have Alfred Payton, bro. My 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 eyes, my ears. Uh, uh, yeah. Reggie uh, Bullock blood. was like their fourth blood. best player. Oh man, oh man, blood in my eyes. Yeah, uh, when I remember, bro, blood in my eyes. No, Alfred Payton, bro. PG. Yeah, Knicks. No. Thank you, Derrick Rose, no. for getting us to the playoffs. Uh -huh. I love Derrick Rose. I <laughs> love, love Derrick Rose. Rose, bro. I yeah. love. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe, bro, really. And uh, I, I mentioned with you né, in backstage né, before the, the, this interview, I hope make a trip, bro, uh, from New York uh, to New York uh, with uh, so many guys from Brazil with me. Né? Yeah. I, I imagine, Joey, uh, 20 people, 20 people with me in New York. And, uh, bro, I love you, bro. You are so great, bro. And uh, I You're hope... awesome, man. Thank you. <laughs> I <laughs> hope to uh, meet you né, in, in New York uh, when uh, I make this trip. And, uh, man, it's a great honor. Great honor. Uh, I hope... I hope, really hope, bring you so many times in this channel. I talk in backstage too. I'm sorry, my bad English, but no, I try good. my best. <laughs> it's okay. You did great. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> and bro, thank you so much, bro. Thank you so much nah, no for problem, coming in this you. channel. And uh, really, I want Nixon playoffs. I, I really hope this team are on fire, on fire, né? and uh, I, I will see né, in soon with this team, but I believe so much, Joy. Thanks so much, man. Thanks so much.
Victor, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. And we're going to beat the Cavaliers. I don't know if we make it to the finals. We're going to beat Donovan Mitchell, though. Forget that guy. I know it's not his fault, but forget <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, bro. I agree. Totally agree. Yeah. And, uh... <laughs> Watch. Brunson, it's better. Okay, Donovan Mitchell. More Ooh, clutch. More, yes. More yes. clutch. More clutch. I totally... <laughs> I totally agree with you, but oh, Julius Randall, I hope you are seeing the future. You, Julius Randall, more <laughs> moments clutch too, bro. I can't believe it. in my life I will. Uh, I saw Julius Randall clutch. Really, I I really really want Julius Randall more moments yeah. clutch. I will love, bro. And RJ Barrett, please, please. Play better, play better, play better. It's complicated defending you in my country, Joey. In my country, so many people angry, so angry with the Barrage. So, Barrage, play better. Same here. Please. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> and Deuce McBride, I, I can't. Nah, forgot oh, Deuce McBride. We can't More go Brazilians. the whole time without mentioning Deuce and Hartenstein. Hartenstein has been. Let's go, man. Good for you. You're some, past three months, two, three months, fantastic. Great, great stuff the last two games. In the Hartenstein, open the floor. Né? Uh, your skills né? totally different uh, compared to with uh, Mitchell Robinson. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I like uh, uh, see the Knicks play with the Hartenstein because that uh, opened the floor né? from... Another guys uh, like he drives né, in your games, bro. Yeah. Oh, uh, I like he Hartenstein. And uh, Deuce McBride, you know. <laughs> oh, send a hug Love from Deuce Ana Zortea. Ana Zortea from Brazil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Deuce Let's McBride go. on fire, bro. Deuce McBride on fire. I love so much uh, your defense. Deuce McBride, uh, fast, né? Uh, seeing, so angry, seeing it, Deuce it, uh, quickly and Hart on the floor together. Whoa, phenomenal defense! Unbelievable. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I, I uh, make, uh, like uh, uh, football, American yeah. football. Uh, Deuce they're, they're like defensive backs, they're man. like cornerbacks and safeties. Yeah, he played safety. <laughs> yeah, they're just yeah. flying around the field. <laughs> Oh uh, man, uh, you 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 talk uh, like this. I I really happy because Nick fans in this moment so happy, bro. Oh this yeah. This team, né, So many years, né? So many years. Uh, depression, né? Your fan, uh, fan, Nick fans depression with the your team. So I I I saw in USA, in Brazil, Germany, and other countries. Nick fans around the everywhere world. so happy with this team bro uh it's amazing uh media né SPN in USA SPN Brazil and another countries talking more joy talking more about that the Knicks SPN awesome. remember remember our team bro remember our team né? in Brazil it's complicated bro in Brazil it's complicated né because Forgot. Oh my God. All New York <laughs> all the time. ESPN, this is the only team that matters. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> my shoes. Oh, my shoes. <laughs> let's go. That's awesome. Oh my God. Those are six sandals. <laughs> Victor, you're the man. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're funny, bro. You're funny, bro. <laughs> Thank you. Like like your page. You like your page. I, I, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Love your page too. Like I said, we've been following you since day one, man. You're the best. Uh, thank you so much. I think the same, bro. I think the same. So now, now <laughs> we go. But uh, I, I really uh, thank you again nah, for your time nah, in this channel. Bro. Fly, bro. Fly. I, I, I really won't see your page. Oh. Like we're trying. Thing, oh. We're going. Yeah. We, uh, we're, uh, we're doing new uh, video stuff in the coming days. We're actually 
trying new apps out. We're trying new content. So Vin, Vin, the, the meme GIF mastermind that you love, the guy that makes all the crazy art, he's, uh-huh. he's, I don't know how smart he is, but he's a creative genius. So we're, we're doing <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> No, your page is so great, bro. <laughs> Thank you, man. Same to you. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much, né? And I hope, né? Talk with you and soon, bro. Soon, bro. Okay. Let's talk during the playoffs. <laughs> Knicks and playoffs. I Knicks believe. Knicks and playoffs. Okay. Let's go. Ah, oh, uh, the finish with the song, Joy. With the song, ah. Oh. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. Queria comentar com vocês, né? Nós temos agora uma novidade aqui com relação ao Nick Fans Brasil, que o canal agora pode ter o programa de membros, né? No YouTube. Então, eu gostaria de pedir para você, você que puder, se inscreva também, né? Seja membro, seja membro do Nick Fans Brasil. Apenas R$ 7,99 por mês. Apenas R$ 7,99. E você vai ter vantagens exclusivas, vantagens exclusivas por ser membro do canal Nick Fans Brasil. Uma delas, você vai ter grupo especial no WhatsApp, que você vai ter as notícias sempre antes, né? vídeos e etc sempre ditos antes para os membros uh, benefícios que vão ser estudados ao longo do tempo que vão ser exclusivos para vocês além de sorteios galera quem for membro vai ter essa vantagem galera então bora lá participa e apoia o canal Nick fez Brasil pessoal beleza e aí pessoal este foi mais um vídeo aqui no canal Nick fans Brasil Espero que vocês tenham gostado, né? E como é de praxe, pessoal, você, você mesmo que está assistindo pela primeira vez o canal Unifens Brasil, não se esqueça de se inscrever, se inscreva aqui no canal Unifens Brasil. Não esqueça, né, você que já é inscrito, de ativar o sininho para notificação de novos vídeos e também sempre deixar o seu like, um comentário, compartilhar com os amigos, por que não, para ajudar com que o canal Nick Fans Brasil chegue cada vez em mais e mais pessoas, pessoal. Beleza? Conto com a ajuda de vocês, Nick Fans. Um abraço! I do, are you down with the orange and the blue?